Hey everybody, welcome to Garden Sound 365. My name's Gardner, this is the show where we write music every day for a year. I sat down today to make this video and I thought to myself, man, I haven't talked to the camera and just made made music in a while. And, and that's, it's funny because I started out the show doing that. I started out this show just kind of talking to the camera and writing music every once in a while. But, you know, the, the purpose of the show was just to talk and and kind of catalog and have a journal and it's been a while since I've just done that without having a purpose for the video. I sat down and said, I have no idea what I'm gonna do today. And I realized that used to be the norm. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to have no idea what I was going to do almost every day. And then then it got into, oh, I started to plan things and started to have certain segments that I did. I, uh, I kind of had a moment where I was like, man, I miss my old style. That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna make music and talk to the camera. I've had dead mouse stuck in my head again. So I definitely want to use that dead mouse synthesizer. So I'm just going to throw it in here and start to play around with it. I'm not trying to present a polished image. And when I present a polished image too often, I get really angry and really stuck up inside myself because that's not who I am. I'm not polished. I'm not polished like Bruno Mars. I'm not, I'm not polished like, you know, the artists that have an image like Adele, you know, or Beyonce. I don't have that level of, of, of shine because I can't fake it. Or actually, that's not true. I can fake it, but it really doesn't feel good. I don't want to fake it. I feel like that's part of the reason we are where we are with music is because we're, we're faking it. A lot of artists... They, they, they fake the the impressiveness and, until they until they make it you know that's part of the game part of the game it's just it's just the game that they play and and when I try to play the game too much I get worked up bad and I get in a bad headspace because it clashes with who I am as a person that's why I made that one video the sad truth about being a musician I got a lot of people reacting to that video saying Gardner you're being selfish you're being entitled um, and it's taken me a while to really find the words to talk about why that video has also made an impact on me. I've gone back and watched it myself several times. That's, that's part of the reason I made Narcissist. Um, because I saw a bit of narcissism in myself in that video. But now I really just wanted to take a moment to talk about it. The, the reason I reacted that way, this is not an excuse, this is just an explanation. The reason I acted that way is because when I try to be the polished YouTube musician, you know, like Andrew Huang, or on cloud sign. Nothing wrong with those guys. They're just, they're very polished. Yeah, it, the word is polished. I don't like to do that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of rough around the edges. I'm, I'm trying to present myself to you as I am in real life. I get, I get harebrained schemes and ideas and I try them out for months and, 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 and weeks and sometimes they fail and they definitely fail. Don't you remember the let's give all the profits away to charity movement that I had back in November? That failed hard. That's, that's me. I've always been the kind of person to have no chill. You know what I'm saying? I always rush headlong into things before I think about them all the way through and whatever happens, happens. And I'm kind of counting on that, on that part of my nature to, to, to work eventually. That's really what I, that's really all I've got. Yeah, I might be good at writing tunes. I might have all this knowledge about theory, but what, what I'm really good at is just being crazy. <laughs> what I'm really good at is doing the shit that no one does. You know what I'm saying? Like things that people go, oh, that's nuts. I'm like, okay, I'm about it. I'll try that. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's, that's the negative side. The negative side is there's a tendency to just do crazy shit. The positive side is I really don't have a lot of fear about trying new things because I've done so many new things. I'm not afraid of that initial, huh, this is new. That doesn't freak me out. That, that feeling doesn't freak me out or scare me. I'm, 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 I'm uninhibited just by charging into a project. And I, I, last night, I came up with a way I think to capitalize on that nature. So I have zero chill, right? I have no chill. I have no, I, you know, I'm salty, right? I have no filter on my mouth. I say things. I leave it in the episode. I put it on YouTube. Things that normal people wouldn't say. And that's why I had to post that video. Even though, yeah, I was being a bit entitled. Yeah, I might have come off as a prick. And, and there's not a single person on the face of the earth as nice and as genuine as you can possibly be, there's not a single person on the face of the earth who doesn't at some point in their life act like a dick. So I apologize for acting like a dick, but I think I found a way to use that energy, that, 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 that insane zero chill energy 
that I had in that video more constructively. And I'll tell you about more of it on Wednesday. I'm planning on making a video that has something to do with my rage nature, my crazy, you know, nature, my my reactive nature. I, I, have, a, I have an idea for a segment. I'm gonna try it out on Wednesday because I don't have work on Wednesday and I can work on the video all day. I thought about doing it today, but I know my nature. I had the idea last night and I said, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Let me sit on it for a couple days, workshop it. See, this is the new gardener. Now that I've been able to watch myself try a bunch of stuff and have harebrained schemes for an entire year, I know, I know that's my nature. And I can say, you know what? How about we cook it for a couple more minutes? <laughs> it's not quite done yet. That's something that's really positive that's come out of all this. So uh, I was playing around with that dead mouse synthesizer a second ago and I got an idea uh, and I'm gonna write it out. I'm gonna do a little bit of normal, I'm gonna do a little bit of actual composition here, you know, using my hand. This is called a median exchange or a pivot chord. How about six? How the hell am I gonna work a six? I'm gonna, th I think I'm gonna work a six groove into this with uh, the bass line. boggles my mind. People are still giving me shit about my hair and about the way I look. Here's the thing, I've been getting shit for the way I look since I was in middle school and it hasn't stopped since. I don't think people grow up. It doesn't really affect me that much anymore because I've had so much of it since I was, you know, that big. But it's just like, find something else to pick on. You know what I'm saying? Like, find something else to pick on. I'm just tired of that criticism. I've had it too much, you know? It's like, it just kind of rolls off because it's so old. I don't know. Pretty cool. Ugh. All right, well, this project is what it is. This cool project brought to you by Chillin' and Talkin'. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. See you tomorrow.